Hello all you RV adventurers. I'm Alan and today the trailer is pretty dirty so I'm gonna give it a good wash and uh, brush it down get all this dirt off of it. Just got back from a trip and as you can see it's pretty dirty. Lots of dirt there. Lots of dirt all over this trailer. We're gonna wash it up, get it clean. Water marks. Been out on the road for about a month and a half time to get it all washed up and then after I get it washed and clean we'll give it a few days to dry wait for a nice warm day and then I'm gonna wax it so uh, be well protected and ready to brave the elements so let's get busy getting it washed I like to use a good car wash solution you see I use a turtle wax wash solution for my soap it helps get the dirt off Get a nice soft brush made for car washing. Dip it in my soap solution. After I get one side completely soaked down, I like to rinse it off before I start the other side. And uh, I'm gonna rinse that soap off. Okay, trailer's all washed, rinsed off. I'm gonna put it back in its place and wait two or three days. Let it dry really good, and then I'm gonna wax it. That'll be the next step. I use a trim and plastic restore by Armorall. It's really a good product and it cleans and protects it. I'm just going to take a little bit, put on my little soft rag there, and rub it across the plastic all around real good. I'm supposed to let that sit there for five minutes or so and soak into the plastic. Don't forget to do the bottom one as well. Any of the other plastic parts around your trailer, like the little access doors, they're all made of plastic. The one the electric cord comes out of, your outside shower door if you have one, they are all plastic covers and they will fade if you don't protect them. When I start waxing, I start at the top and I use a good pure wax. This is the brand I use. It's made for fiberglass surfaces. It's a marine and RV wax. And it's really, really good protectant. This is the first coat. This is going to seal the coat and protect it from UV rays. I start at the top by using a clean applicator cloth and just rub it on. Apply liberally all over all the surfaces. This will protect your casita or any travel trailer finish that has fiberglass from fading and yellowing and getting dull when exposed to sunlight. I apply it in a circular motion. Make sure it's all covered really good. 
and you're going to let that dry to a clear hazy looking finish like you do any other automotive type wax and then you wipe it all off after it dries. Be sure to get all of the surfaces as far as you can reach under that air conditioner. Apply in circular motions to make sure you're covering it well. I'm going to let that dry. It usually takes about 10-15 minutes. And then you can wipe it off with another clean cloth and it buffs it to a beautiful shine. Then it's ready for my top wax coat. I've zoomed in on this surface so hopefully you can see how the wax has dried to a real dull sheen. You take a clean cotton cloth and just wipe it off. And it comes out nice and shiny. Okay, first coat's finished. For those of you who want to apply a second coat, a good hard shell finish of turtle wax, you can't be beat. I've been using it my entire life on every car I have. It's great for fiberglass as well. So I'm gonna apply that, let it dry, and rub it off just like the base coat. When I'm waxing, I go over the labels as well that have been stuck on the trailer to help preserve them as well. The wax has time to dry to a good sheen and dull, dry, caulky finish. It's time to wipe it off. One clean shiny casita. Now that I've finished the wax job, it's time to hook up the trailer and put it away in its little parking spot beside the garage until we leave for the next trip. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button so you won't miss our next RV adventure. Hey, thanks for watching. I'll check you later.